Hello. Nope, okay, stole that intro from someone. I'm really good at this. Okay, let's try another one. Yo! Your boy can sell legitimate TNT! Nope, okay, I'm very bad at introing. Hello, and welcome to the first Q&A um, on this channel ever. Yes, a Q&A. I asked you guys to tweet me questions with the hashtag CrafterCrew, and it actually got trending worldwide. Um, no, it actually didn't, but maybe next time, probably not. But a man can dream. You guys tweeted me back a ton of questions, um, a lot of them were pretty good, some of them not so much, and I picked most of them, and, uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try to answer them all for you now, so, let's go and go on with the first question. Can you do a setup tour? Now, I've talked a lot about this on our Twitch channel, but I am planning on doing a setup tour around 500 YouTube subs. Now, the reason for this is, I figured 500 YouTube subs would take us long enough that I could set- get my setup all set up. Yep, that makes sense. Lately, my setup has been changing a ton, um, and if I did a setup video, like, now, it would probably be changed in a week anyways, so I'm, I'm just kind of waiting um, until I get most of my setup, you know, good, ready to go, and that's probably how I'll be keeping it, um, at least for a little while. Do you want a sticker? I would absolutely love one. What was the first thing your parents said when you told them you were going to do YouTube and Twitch? Now, interesting enough, um, when we started YouTube, we didn't really tell our parents, it wasn't like we were trying to hide it or anything, but we just didn't think it was going to go anywhere, we were just kind of doing it for fun. But Twitch is when it started really becoming a thing, when they're asking, why are you spending three hours straight playing a game and talking to yourself and sounding like a weirdo? Um, but, uh, they, I mean, they're, they're supportive about it, so that's always nice. They don't really understand it, neither do I, I don't get why over a hundred different people come in and watch me and my two friends play Minecraft. Good answer there. That was cool, Agarisk. Nice job. What on earth were you thinking with this hair? <laughs> to be completely honest with you, I have no idea. In fact, I'd rather that picture be burned and destroyed. Yeah, moving on. What's your shampoo? I honestly have no idea, but as you can see, I'm obviously very aware of how I look and I make sure that my fashion statement personnel is on fleek at all moments. That's why my hair looks amazing right now. Yep, okay, that was good. If you could be any animal, what would it be and why? If I could be any animal, I honestly don't know. I'd probably be like a polar bear because polar bears are just amazing. They're like all white. Not that there's anything wrong with not being white, but they're like solid white, you know? They're like fluffy. They're like a good bear, but like, when you think of a bear, you don't think of a polar bear. So that's why I think a polar bear is pretty solid. Yeah, it kind of sucks that they're like dying or whatever because we're like making the earth too hot. But I mean, still, polar bears are pretty sweet. What would your girl name be? To be honest, my girl name would probably still be Reese because I'm pretty sure there's only two Reeses on the face of the planet. And one of them is a girl. And they're definitely the more famous Reese. <laughs> If you had to marry one of your Twitch followers, who would you marry? I'm not even, I don't even have a response to this question. What is your shoe size? Ha! A question I can answer. My shoe size is a shoe size US men's 7. I'm cool like that, I know. Hold the applause. Can I come over? What should me and Jame's name our children? These questions are just getting weird. Would you rather be sexually attracted to pineapples or eat 20 banana peels? Okay, this is a weird question, but I can actually answer it. So, the the answer would obviously be to eat 20 banana peels. Because if I ever got pizza, and I got pineapple on it, and I was eating with friends, like, they'd pull the pizza out, they'd open the box, and they'd just be like, Oh, look at that pineapple. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh yes, and then my friends would just be like, w "What are you? W what? D what?" Or I could just eat twenty banana peels and never worry about it again. Yeah, I guess I'm not really a big fan of bananas, but I'd much rather just eat twenty banana peels and get it over with. If you had to change your name, what would you change it to? If I had to change my name, I'd probably change it to like a solid name that's like not used. If you guys can't tell, I kind of have a name that's not not really used a lot. So maybe I would change it to re-spelled with a C. <laughs> yes, what a good name. 
do you think after you finish school you can continue streaming? I haven't really thought about the answer to this question to be honest because I never thought Twitch would take off to a place that it has. I would have never thought we would ever have 5,000 followers or anything like that um, and still growing. Um, so the answer is, if Twitch is still around, Twitch is still doing good, the channel's still doing good, I'd love to keep doing it after school. Now, I do still have two years left of high school and I haven't even gotten to college yet, so I have no idea how it's going to go, but for now my plan is to keep going with it. You know, keep having fun, like I do every day with you guys. How long have you known James and DeHood? <laughs> I've known James and DeHood for a very, very long time. I've known James for longer, but not much longer. I've known them both since elementary school. James has lived down like the street like by two houses the hood has lived um like maybe five minutes away if even um so we've known each other we've gone to most of the same schools except for the hood um the hood didn't go to the same middle school that me and james did so sad. but um when we started high school we met up again and we figured we still liked each other um so that's when the hood was actually added to the channel um when we started talking again if you ate a reese's peanut butter cup would that be cannibalism i don't think so because I don't think I'm a chocolate, peanut butter flavored candy snack thing. So, I think we're different, even though we do have partially the same name. When's your birthday? Ah, alright, another question that I can answer. 28th of December. That's right, three days after Christmas. I'm just too good for Christmas, so who needs to be born on Christmas? Which flavor of the number purple is your favorite? I'd say the answer is probably L. Yep, L. Final answer. Locking it in. If you were the last person on Earth, what is the first thing you would do? If I was the last person on Earth, I'd probably just sit down, curl up into a ball, try not to cry, and then cry a lot. Or I could stream to Twitch and be the number one streamer. That's right, I'd have a whole one person in my chat, and it would be Nightbot. Oh yes. Me and Nightbot go a long way. If you could be any animal in the world, what would you be? I feel like I already answered this question. Yeah, the answer's still a polar bear. Are you the kind of friend that you would want to have as a friend? I'm getting deep with the questions. I mean, I think so. Most of my friends are kind of like me, so I guess maybe I am already friends with myself. Nope, that's kind of weird. Okay. I mean, I do talk to myself in my room, like, three hours a day. What would you be doing with your life right now if you never found out about YouTube and Twitch? To be honest, I have no idea. Um, if A lot of you guys know that I'm kind of into music and a lot of my life has to do with music. So if Twitch never came around, I'd probably still be doing a lot with music. Just three hours of my day would comprise of not Twitch and probably doing something productive. No, I'm just kidding. Twitch is awesome. I love it. Um, I have no idea how my life would be without Twitch, but I do love it. Would you rather be deaf or blind? This is another good question. I'd probably rather be deaf. There aren't, they're like working on technology or whatever that are like helping deaf people actually be able to like hear now. But like being blind is just kind of, that's, that's it, you're done. I would get to have a dog with me like 24 seven, but I think the answer's still deaf. Would you rather be named Bob, Jim, Frank, Billy, Miranda, Allison, or Alex from Target? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Clarification on this question. My name, would be Alex from Target. So like, on my birth certificate, it would say, Alex from Target, Smith. That would be my name. No, that would be terrible. I, I'd be Billy. Billy is an awesome name. Quality, 100% best name. No, it's not the best name. Reese is the best name. Who would you rather date, DeHood or James? All right, look, look. We don't even have 500 subs on YouTube yet. Let's not get the, the shipping thing going. Not feeling it, not feeling it. Who is your favorite viewer? I don't like these questions. Let's get back to the good ones. Where do you plan to see yourself three years from now in relation to streaming? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, again, like I said, I don't really know. I never thought Twitch would get to the point where it has gotten, but uh, hopefully at least three years in the future I'm partnered by then. Who knows, Twitch seems to hate me, so probably not. But um, yeah, I mean, I'd just love to see the channel bigger than where it is now. Alright, so that actually brings me to the end of all the questions. I finally got through them. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure to, you know, give me any suggestions down below in the comment section. Um, and if you want to see some more Q&A, make sure to smack that like button with your face. I mean, you could hit it with your hand, too. Um, but yeah, I had a ton of fun making it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. And um, that is all I got for you today. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.